James tells us, James tells us to be joyful when we enter various trials, right? But how can we really be joyful if we're not prayerful? Hi guys um so just really wanted just to come up here and kind of share with you guys what I have been focusing on lately in my life in my walk with Christ um I know well I'm gonna first tell you some things I've been like well struggling with I'll say the first thing is with this channel first and foremost because I didn't know what direction I really wanted to go with this channel like whether it was gonna be like a family channel whether um, it was going to be a channel where I just talk you know talk about my relationship with God and just the journey through that or like what honestly I'm still at a point of prayer concerning that um, but I think that also discouraged me from uh, being consistent with posting because I didn't really know the vision I'll say for the channel and so I think I'm getting things now but um so yeah that was one thing but just something that has been in my face like I mean hardcore is prayer um yeah the importance of prayer and the grace that we have to pray I just like I understood that prayer was like fundamental but honestly my life didn't reflect that I was less prayerful about things that I needed to be prayerful about and the things that I I just kind of did it as a routine pray but I didn't do it as a means for me to be intimate with God and to know him through it um so God has just been really dealing with my heart about prayer and what prayer is and how important it is and how it shouldn't just be an afterthought, but a continuous thing throughout the day, just conversing with God and talking with him and invite him into my day, into my thoughts, into my heart. And over the past week or so, I've just been very intentional, um, on being prayerful about things like not worrying about things not being fearful about things but praying about everything and when I tell you guys that it has made such a difference in the way that I operate um, because being a person who is prayerful and is in constant communication with my God, and I'll say my God as in my God of the Bible, who if you know the God of the Bible through Jesus, you would know that there's nothing impossible for him with him, right? And so when you are constantly in communication with him and you're getting to know the different facets of him, you're just, it's an intimacy like no other. It is an intimacy like no other and it changes the way you perceive things it changes your perspective of things it changes um certain strongholds like one of the strongholds i was really dealing with was fear um fear and just anxiety in a sense of things that i i, I saw in the natural that i had no control of but i wasn't doing anything in the supernatural to even take hold of those things and so i've just been like super prayerful and god allowed me to see one of the reasons why i was not was because i did look at it as a task and i looked at it as looked at it as tedious and cumbersome right and as i have been doing it it's just like god that was such a lie that was such a snare that was such a trick to keep me from feeling like I could do it. That I can just commune with my God, right? And the fruit from it 
it's not necessarily that the prayers that I asked to manifest in the natural have manifested, but the biggest fruit is peace. It has been peace, peace of mind, peace of heart. Um, yeah, just removing fear. Not because I expect for my prayer requests to be answered, guys, but because I know that the that the God in whom I am conversing with about the good, the bad, and the ugly, he cares about what I am talking about. He cares about the afflictions that are on my heart. He cares about the joys that are my, on my heart. And if he, which is, if he feels that it is necessary to answer the prayers that I pray to him, it's good. But if he does not, it means that it's good too. So it's a difference from, it's a difference from pray, from prayerful tribulations and non-prayerful tribulations and what i mean by that is james tells us james tells us to be joyful when we enter various trials right but how can we really be joyful if we're not prayerful you can't and i see that that is a lot of what i was doing i was going through trials and you know trying to hang on by the skin of my teeth because i was not being prayerful through them because the prayer doesn't necessarily, being prayerful and being intimate with God doesn't necessarily re necessarily relieve you of the trial, but the peace and the comfort and the joy that comes from intimacy with God completely overshadows the trial. And because he is so, so gracious, not only does he give us peace and joy and tranquility through the trial, he gives us tactics on how to move and navigate through them, how to come against them with the spiritual tools that he's given us. And that's how we can be joyful. And so it was just like a, it was just like a beautiful revelation that he gave me about not just trying to go through things without that is that it is a lie that if I that I can just go through life without being prayerful and think that I will have any source of joy because my joy comes from the presence of the Lord. And in the presence of the Lord, no matter what is going on in my life, good, bad or ugly, I can have a sustained and a protected peace, you know, and be free from fear, be free from anxiety despite all that I see or all that I feel. And so having a prayer life is not subjective. It's not an add on. It is absolutely necessary. It is a blessing. And so guys, I have just been like, y'all, I'm just praying about everything. And I ain't talking about praying about everything like, oh, something's going on and let me go pray. I'm just praying and thinking and inviting God in everything things that i would typically go to my girlfriends about first no i'm talking to him first things that just like randomly pop in my mind i go to him first things that when fear tries to grip my heart or anxiety tries to grip my heart i go to him like okay god i felt that what was that where did it come from what lie is the enemy and my flesh trying to make me believe about you me and people that is causing that to grip me unveil the truth to me and he has been so gracious and so kind to do so y'all and so if anything i just want to encourage you guys ask god to help you live a life of prayer and that don't mean you go in your corner with your prayers y'all a life of prayer is just inviting god into everything like y'all what kind of blessing is it that anyone wants to be involved in everything of your life i have not met a person on this earth that is willing to be invited in every area of my life and they desire it whether it's the good the bad or the ugly they desire to be in every single facet every thought every feeling every care of affection everything of my life but my god and he wants to and i'm like that's a privilege and it's like He's not like some popper that's just saying like, I would just want to be in your life because I ain't got nothing else better to do. This is the God of the universe. Like the God of the universe wants to be invited in every detail of my life, of my being. And God, it just makes so, life so much sweeter. It has made life so much sweeter because then my dependency is not on people to give me that peace or that joy. 
it's from him and so my prayer is for you who are watching that God would grace you with the desire and grace you with the will to pray to communicate with him to invite him in to every moment whether it is a glorious moment or even the darkest deepest places that you're at those deep moments of agony or anguish that you invite him into it knowing that he is not afraid of your heart he is not afraid of the darkest places that he will meet you in the darkest places guys He's not just trying to come along for the glory ride. He's like, I will meet you at your lowest point. Invite me in. He's knocking at the door on our heart and we have to invite him in. Yeah. So that's just what I wanted to share today. Pray. Pray about the smallest things, pray about the biggest things, pray about the good things, pray about the things that are not so good. Pray when you need wisdom, pray when you have understanding, pray there is just so much to talk to God about. Just talk to him about it and invite him in and I can, I can guarantee you and I cannot guarantee you anything that is not written in the word of God. Seek him and you will find him literally will so yeah write down in the comment box like things that you need prayer for things that you would that you need help yeah that you need prayer for and encourage be encouraged that you can live a life of constant communication with your God and that you can do life with him so yeah that's all I really have for this video I hope that it was helpful to you um if you want me to i can do a video on kind of like how i start my day um in regards to to praying and certain things that god has just revealed to me about inviting him into my thoughts and inviting him into everything in my life so i love you guys i love you love you love you and i pray that the grace of god will deepen your relationship and intimacy with him talk to you later I'm <laughs> sorry.